that may have saved you from a life in prison. Absolutely. Jan, what you're telling us is, because this is all about our attitude, uh, just because you're a Christian doesn't mean that some pretty scary things might not creep up right. in your thinking, in this case, in your planning. What was the key to getting you on a path of healing? And I'm sure you couldn't be the wife, the mother, the motivator that you are today if you hadn't allowed a supernatural work in your heart and life. Absolutely not. And I was at the point where I was willing to, to give up who I was for what God had planned for me. I asked God for a new life and He gave it to me. He gave me a new beginning, a new life. And it's a day to, it's not one of those instant um, overnight happenings where, okay, yesterday I was this bitter, angry woman. Today, I'm, I'm a lady that's filled with godly positivity. It's a lifelong commitment. Now you say a lot of people have a fast food attitude. Oh, they do. And what is that? That's where people go to these rah-rah seminars and they hear all this stuff and they go, oh, I'm so hyped. And then they the get The helium will just yeah, stay yeah, in the balloon. And then 24 hours later, now what was I hyped up about? Mm -hmm. Or they go to, they want an instant happy face. And so they, they do impulsive shopping or overindulgence in food, drug, alcohol. That's not the kind of positivity I'm talking about. I'm talking about godly positivity mm -hmm. that can only come from the Lord. The Lord doesn't want us to uh, look at this as my cup is half full. He wants us to say, you know what, my cup overfloweth with the love of Jesus Christ, with His grace, with His joy, and with godly positivity. Mm -hmm. You're only going to get to peek at it. You're going to need to read the book, but here are the 10 secrets, just kind of going by quickly to uh, get an idea of what has worked for Jan. Understand the power of attitude. Mm -hmm. We've already looked at the statistics. Respond rather than react. I think that's a pretty important uh, change of uh, ver words, verbiage. Uh, be accountable for your life. We can't be blaming others, can mm -hmm. we? Examine your heart and um, we've got a great breakdown on, on the word for heart in the book. Forgive yourself and others. Prepare for obstacles. What's that? We know that stuff is going to happen. Mm. <laughs> and it, we, we're not guaranteed a life without trauma or upsets. So we need to understand that if uh, the dishwasher breaks, Hey, if that's the worst thing that happens today, we're blessed people. <laughs> so, we, so if we were to react, we'd kick the dishwasher. Responding means mm, I'm, that's that's okay. It, it, it's fixable. So it's learning to analyze the problem and think about and I, the the old adage: of What would Jesus do? Mm -hmm. I doubt seriously Jesus would kick the dishwasher. But he'd certainly step back and say, "This is fixable. That's not so important." Don't derail over that's it. That's right. Exactly. Let's finish off our list. Learn to give and receive love. Oh, that's so important. Mm. Take charge of your thoughts. Oh, the Bible has so much to mm -hmm. say about taking every thought, thought captive. captive. Don't go down that negative rabbit trail. Transform from the inside out and become a difference maker in God's kingdom. How key is that 10th point? Getting out of yourself and into the lives of others. It's critical. It's critical because the more we focus on self, the more um, we find fault with ourselves, and then we start picking things and then we get involved with this superficial stuff. But when we focus on others, the more we give, the more we get. I have to show your significant others right now. Oh, thank you. Because you are a mother of two, two precious adopted children. Mm -hmm. And what did you say in, in the makeup room this morning? I said that I used to pray for a new chapter in my life and God exceeded my every expectation and He gave me a whole new book in my life. And um, Matthew Jacob Coates, who is now 24, he just graduated from the U.S. Air Force Academy and my daughter Jordan Nicole, both of them were saved from abortion. They're both adopted. Wow. And God gave me a whole new book. And what God did for me, He will do for everyone. Hmm. You know, an elf put this on my chair <laughs> last night. I, I found it this morning. And there's just a little attitude check. If you want to feel rich, just count all the gifts you have that money can't 
by. A good thought for this day. Tragedies to triumph, pain and deposit of passion that pours God's love into mm. the lives of others. This is a popular plot, Jan, mm -hmm. for the stories God will write if we're willing to open our heart to Him. That's right. And just do the next obedience. That's right. God's got the plan. He can turn it around. And uh, this is a great encouragement if you want to move to a new place. I, I like the timing. January's just around the corner. Absolutely. A brand new year. You might be ready to attitudinize with Jan Coates. This book's available everywhere. And uh, I'd like you to come back, Jan. I'd like to. Uh, we have some other things to talk about. We do. You are amazing. Thank you. You are too. Thank you for coming. Thank you. If you need prayer right now, we are always here for you. That prayer line is on the screen. Maybe your attitude check and change can begin right now. We'll be back. Don't go away.